Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar we're going to run through the weather warnings as we do have another thunderstorm warning in force tomorrow a bit skeptical of what's going to be happening with that but there are going to be showers probably some heavy showers around and the met office has highlighted a risk of thundery weather as well so have a look at the ukv and the icon runs looking at that shower risk tomorrow we'll also have a look at the temperatures as well as it is warming up back towards the weekend we could be seeing a resurgence of the heat with some areas getting back to and above heat wave threshold levels we'll also have a look at the mid to long range look at the gfs gm eastern bf and the ensembles as it does look like apart from this weekend it is generally looking like in the longer term, the last sort of 10 days of July to the start of August, we could be seeing even more of a resurgence of the heat, perhaps getting those temperatures back into the high 20s, low 30s for quite a few. But let me be clear, we're not seeing anything remotely clear, uh, remotely close to what we have just been through. We're not looking like likely to be seeing temperatures much above sort of maybe 30 to 32 degrees. That's what it looks like the peak from what we're seeing in the ensembles at the moment. So don't be scared that we're going to get back towards that 40 degree mark. Yes, it does look like there is a signal we could be going very warm, if not perhaps hot, to end July, but just sort of normal heat wave levels, sort of 28 degrees widely, getting towards that 30 degree range for a few. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So if you start on the live radar, you can see not much going on at the moment. A bit of precipitation moving into the southwest of Ireland. But elsewhere, nothing too much. A few showers across the Midlands and into northwest England and Yorkshire. Some patchy showers there with some cloud. A lot of cloud around today, but there should be some brighter spells in places. But we're going to be seeing a lot of showers and persistent bands of rain over the course of the next couple of days before things turn drier especially in the south and the east on the weekend um, at the same time precipitation will be moving into the north and west it does look likely we're going to continue to see a split of wetter and cooler in the north and the west drier and hotter in the south and the east but we kind of want a reversal of that at the moment we want some dry warm weather for areas in the north and the west we do want some rain in the south and the east there should be some opportunities but at the moment it's nothing nothing not looking anything too substantial in the near future if you look at the temperatures you can see it's not too bad today back towards average really slightly above average in the far south getting towards 25 to 24 degrees that sort of temperature so slightly above average but elsewhere more towards average tomorrow though it could be quite chilly with looking likely many areas are actually below average with an atlantic influence however if we look out to our east you can see the remnants of that incredibly hot air mass that is into parts of sweden finland into eastern europe poland and hungary getting smashed by this incredibly hot air mass temperatures in the mid to high 30s you can see how that hot air has swept northwards and eastwards as it exited the uk through tuesday evening but it still is very warm and hot across southern parts of europe and that's why later this month even though we're not looking like we're going to go incredibly hot all we need is a slight southerly tilt in the wind directions and we start to tap into this very warm if not hot air once again so do have a look at the weather warnings. You can see there is a thunderstorm warning from 10 a.m. tomorrow until 10 p.m. tomorrow. A few places could see slow-moving heavy showers and thunderstorms during Friday across the southern parts of Wales and southern and southwestern parts of England. If we look at the further details, once some areas will remain dry, slow-moving heavy thunderstorms likely to develop from mid to late morning, likely peaking during the afternoon and early evening before decaying later. Where thunderstorms do occur, 20 to 25 millimetres of rain is possible in less than an hour, 40 to 50 millimetres could fall in two to three hours, hail and frequent lightning are potential additional hazards. High impact, low likelihood on the warning matrix. Now yesterday we did have a thunderstorm warning further eastwards, we did see showers, we did see some heavy showers, some like quite torrential rain for some, but we saw very few thundery sort of activity out there. So again, I'm a bit sceptical as to whether we will see thunderstorm warning, uh, thunderstorms tomorrow. Um, but as, as ever, with these yellow warnings, they are always done on risk. So the risk was there for thunderstorms yesterday. They didn't quite materialise, but perhaps tomorrow they do materialise quite substantially. We will just 
have to see. So I know some people will be disappointed and some people will be a bit like said thunderstorms were coming yesterday. There was a yellow warning, but we didn't see any proper thunderstorms. There were showers, but no proper thunderstorms. It's always hit and miss with this. I must emphasize that the convective of nature, very difficult to forecast exactly whether they do reach that thunderstorm threshold, i.e. lightning, hail, torrential rain, or whether they're just generally heavy showers. It's very difficult to distinguish that um, in a forecast. So we do have a thunderstorm warning in force. There could be thunderstorms around, but it's not a guarantee. Could just be showers uh, and some heavy rain there. So do have a look at the UKV looking at that shower and thunderstorm risk for tomorrow. You can see today, pretty dry but cloudy. And as we head into tomorrow, you can see those showers and thundery weather starting to kick off in the early hours of the morning. Generally starting as showers, but as we head through a, the rest of the day, you see a bit of persistent rain across the Midlands before some heavy thundery rain starts to develop in the south, turning things quite a little bit more unsettled. Does look quite cloudy around, could inhibit thunderstorm activity, but we'll just have to see. But generally quite a showery regime across most of England and Wales into parts of southern Scotland as well. Dry for Republic uh, and Northern Ireland. Feel that those showers eventually do start to clear and decay away. And then through Saturday, we start to see some persistent rain in the north and west. And this is where I said we're seeing a bit of a split. The south and the east, warm and dry, getting towards potentially 30 degrees on the weekend. The north and the west, heavy showers, heavy weather, front, uh, th heavy rain along weather fronts uh, and some uh, cooler conditions. And you can see that very heavy rain, those light, bright colours. But by Sunday, you can see a bit of precipitation trying to push into the east. But you can see very warm and dry ahead of this weather front. Behind it, very unsettled, big showers and thunderstorms around, potentially behind that. Uh, but we'll have to just see that because that looks like an absolute wild precipitation chart. Beyond that, as we head into Monday, things start to die down a little bit. Those showers turn less heavy and beyond that we don't see any real precipitation in the south and the east and i know a lot of people will be quite disappointed with that uh, but hopefully some of these showers some of these storms get towards that south and east corner and all areas see a bit of rain over the coming days now the reason why it's turning much warmer and drier and potentially turning very unsettled in the northwest is because we've got a big temperature contrast. If I run through to Saturday afternoon, we've got a big wedge of warm air sweeps through, hangs on in the southeast, giving temperatures into the mid to high 20s, low 30s potentially, but further north and west with some cooler air that uh, along that weather front, potentially heavy rain, thundery weather. Again, if we have a look at the two meter temperatures, you can see today widely around that 18 to 20 degree mark, maybe low 20s, 23, 24 degrees, uh, potentially in the far south. Tomorrow, as I said, could be a cooler than average day. In fact, you can see temperatures widely in the mid to high teens, maybe touching on 20, 21 degrees in a few places, and maybe 22, 23 in London. But elsewhere, it is around or perhaps slightly below average for this time of year, with the average high of around 20 to 22 degrees for quite a few as we head into saturday you can see those temperatures are starting to rise a bit more in the south and the east we're widely mid 20s potentially 26 27 or slightly higher in a few spots and as we head towards sunday widely mid to high 20s in the east and south touching on 30 31 degrees but further north and westwards much more unsettled temperatures in the high teens and by Monday afternoon, you can see still warm in the south and east, not quite as hot, but towards that mid-20s point, cooler further north to westward. So hanging on to the warm, hot, dry conditions in the south and the east, cooler in the north and west. Now, if you compare it to the Icon run, we'll just have a look at the precipitation for this over the next day or two. And then we'll have a look at the temperatures as well, just to see what those temperatures will be like on the weekend in the south and east. You can see too through tomorrow, you can see those showers and thundery weather breaking out. Nothing too crazy from the icon run, very similar to charts to, as we saw to yesterday. So again, a bit sceptical of exactly the intensity of those showers and storms, but we'll just have to see. And if we have a look at the max temperatures, if we do run it out to um, out towards that Sunday afternoon, you can see widely temperatures in the mid to high 20s, touching on 30 degrees in the east. So again, Strong consensus there from the models that we will be getting towards heatwave thresholds back on the weekend. Resurgence of heat. Nothing compared to what we've seen recently, but still hot um, and warm conditions quite uh, generally quite widely across England. So if you're looking plans to do something quite nice on the weekend, 
potentially Saturday or Sunday if you are in the south and the east would be best um, and it would be quite warm and dry however further north and westwards it's likely to be pretty unsettled very showery with a lot of precipitation We're trying to nudge in off the Atlantic as we saw on that UK V run now if we do have a look at the mid to longer range have a look at the GFS GM Eastern DF and the ensembles now you can see high pressure building in at the moment but we generally have a bit of a westerly flow so it's cooler up around conditions for tomorrow that's why we're seeing cooler conditions you see low pressure running in off the Atlantic through Saturday and Sunday bringing that precipitation in the north and west quite a vigorous little low for this time of year but because the winds are coming in from a south to westerly direction we're dragging up warm air from the uh, sort of Azores area, and that's why we're going to see mid to high 20s, maybe 30 degrees on Sunday. Beyond that, though, the low pressure does run through, give us an all cooler, more unsettled conditions. So, if you are in the south and east looking for some precipitation, perhaps Monday, Tuesday time, once the low clears through, we could see quite a showery regime. So, we could see a lot of rain for some areas. Beyond that, high pressure does continue to build back in. We are starting to get into the uncertain time frame, but high pressure is in control, low pressure running to the north, so it is going to try and pull in cooler air, and it will be successful at times, but generally dry in the south, more unsettled in the north, and in the longer term, we generally see this pattern of high pressure to our east, low pressure to our west, dragging up a southerly flow, and even though it doesn't look like a traditional hot spell here, just because Europe uh, and central southern Europe is so warm at the moment, those upper air temperatures just to our south are a couple of degrees hotter than normal so it just means it's even easier to get to those high 20s uh, low 30s than it normally is and in the longer term it does look like a, a cold front will sweep through there right in the longer range but if we do move beyond uh, before that and go back to sort of the middle of next week towards the end of july you can see generally cooler there around the 27th 28th we start to drag up warm air from the south you can see the 15 degree ice firm moves in and again not a traditionally hot sort of pattern there generally a little low pressure system spinning that up could be quite thundery with that but it does look quite hot look at the temperature deviation getting up towards 10 to 15 degrees uh, above average there so 10 maybe 12 degrees in that um so warm but nothing compared to what we have had recently where it's been ridiculously hot of course that hot air does eventually get swept away but we still have that 10 degree hours firm maybe that 15 degree hours firm creeping up every now and again in the south to so continue to be threatening those very warm hot conditions potentially in the south over the next couple of weeks on and off not persistent heat wave not persistent very hot conditions but does it like we're going to be seeing frequent bouts of southerly winds frequent periods where we could be above average sort of getting towards those mid to high 20s i know some people will really enjoy that but other people are very much looking forward to some cooler conditions back towards average it could be setting up a really quite a hot month the ct had checked it out yesterday once tuesday had updated into it and we're already two degrees above average of the overall month so it'll be very interesting to see what that does come out with at the end of this july to see how much above average that ct is potentially we could get to three degrees above average if we continue to see these very warm air masses trying to move up from the south so if we do have a look at the GEM, see how that does compare. Again, high pressure in control, low pressure running in off the Atlantic, and then we go back into high pressure. For low pressure out to our east, uh, out to our west, high pressure out to our east. And what does that do? Brings up a southerly flow again, not ridiculously hot, but getting towards that 10 to 15 degrees at 850 HPA, above average temperatures in the mid to high 20s. So resurgence of the heat continuing here on the GEM. Nothing extreme, those extreme air masses, the 20 to 25 degree ice firm, staying well to our south, but that 15 degree ice firm is creeping into the southern parts of the, the United Kingdom. Now, if we do have a look at the ECMWF on, uh, or the ECMWF operational run, again, high pressure in control, but low pressure running in over the weekend, sweeping through, and then we see high pressure settle back down and towards day 10 we do see low pressure out the atlantic high pressure further eastwards and we are starting to pull up warmer air from the south nothing ridiculous but that 10 degree ice firm moving in potentially the 15 degree ice firm in as well so it's not ridiculously hot but it's likely to be above average we're seeing repeated resurgence of that really warm if not hot air mass to our south and it could give repeated bouts of a few days here or there where we reach high 20s low 30s and again it's nothing compared to what we have had recently so it's not gonna make headlines or anything but it still will be quite warm it could be oppressive 
at times. Now, after we finish, we'll have a look at the upper air masses from the ensembles. You can see around average at the moment, it could be quite cool tomorrow, but we see that spike in upper air temperatures come Saturday and Sunday in the south and east. That's why we could be seeing 30 degrees. Beyond that, we're slightly below average as we see that low pressure run through. Could be slightly unsettled there. A lot of small precipitation spikes, so it could be showery, but very uncertain with that. It is generally very dry though, all the way towards the 6th of August, so no massive precipitation inside that low pressure. Even when it does sweep through, it's always going to be centered far to our north, for southern England that is. So we're not going to see massive precipitation there. Further northwards, it does look like there will be plenty of precipitation around. So if you are a little bit of a drought conditions in the north, you're a little bit parched at the moment, it does look like there will be plenty, plenty of precipitation around over the next week or two. You can see what I mean though, towards the end of, end of the month, start of August, we're generally above average, quite a few warm, if not hot ensemble runs, for the operational run with little bouts of 15 to 18 degrees at 850 HPA, which would be bring low 30s, so hot heat wave conditions, but on and off, not persistent by any means, um, and it just generally does look above average. So that's what I mean, could be more resurgences of heat coming up over the next couple of weeks. And you can see that by having the two meter temperatures. Again, you can see uh, 30 degrees potentially towards Sunday. You see the ensemble's around 27, 28, but of course we can add a couple degrees on because they have low resolution. And you can see towards the end of the month, start of August, all the ensemble members really averaging around that 25, 26 degree range, which if you add on, um, uh, add on a couple of degrees because they are ensembles and of course you discount some of the colder outliers that are quite unlikely we are likely to be seeing high 20s maybe low 30s in London for quite a period of time again not every single day it's not going to be oppressively hot but it's still going to be hot and could be heat wave like conditions so it doesn't like there is going to be as I said a resurgence of heat over the next couple of weeks I really hope it doesn't catch everyone out because uh, I know we are only just coming out of an intense hot period. And again, it doesn't compare to that at all. It will be a solid 10 degrees cooler for most people, but still hot, quite uncomfortable conditions could be seen with this as well. And again, if we have a look at the ECM WF ensemble, we'll see how those do compare. Again, a heat spike over the next uh, few days into Sunday, cooler conditions around the 27th to 29th of July. And then you can see towards the end of the month, start of August, quite a few ensemble members now, a couple of degrees above average, getting towards that 15 degree uh, at 850 HPA, or sort of 14, 15 degrees, which of course, if you look at the 850 HPA temperature explainer that I did a couple of weeks ago, you can add about 15 degrees this time of the year, giving temperatures in around that 30 degree mark, or at least high 20s widely. So it is looking warm. It is looking like we will continue to see some hot conditions over the next couple of weeks. But you can see at times it's going to be cooler as well. At the moment, it's not too bad. And potentially towards the early to middle of next week, it won't be too bad either. It could be quite showery for some, especially in the north and the west. So it is looking pretty decent over the next couple of weeks, especially in the south and east. It's looking continued dry conditions, which some will like, some will dislike. It is looking like it's going to be around average most of the time but could be seeing some spikes of well above average conditions, not only through this weekend, but in the longer term, could be more persistent above average conditions. Further northwards and westwards, more likely to be more around average in terms of upper air temperatures and surface level temperatures as well, and it doesn't likely there'll be more precipitation and around as well. So if you're in the north and west and you want some rain, it is coming your way, luckily. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you all stayed safe over the last sort of five days or so where we have had a lot of very hot weather we've had some thundery weather around as well it does look like the weather is dying down a little bit still hot weather at times potentially over the next couple of weeks still thundery risk still some heavy rain around but nothing out of uh out of the sort of usual sort of summery conditions that we do expect back towards normal sort of thundery weather normal potentially heat wave conditions uh nothing too bad at all so anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.